I know that I can't see you guys, but I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> um, today, with um, much anticipation, um, we're going to try out this swacker head that was sent to me. I wish for everyone to go down into the comment section below and say a huge thank you to Daniel Royer for providing this one to me for this video. I'm very pumped to try it. Um, if you guys remember, um, it's been probably four or five months ago, I tested out the uh, three inch version of this swagger on a hog and it was quite ridiculous. The pig didn't go but about 25, 30 yards or so. And with that being said, I'm pretty, pretty excited to see how this one performs. And I can't complain other than the fact that it's 1 million degrees out here and I hunted um, today's Monday the 26th of July and on this day last week um, at this very time it was about 75 degrees right now it's about 99 so huge difference there but oh well we're hunting hogs and uh, they've been showing up here about 7 30 7 45 somewhere in there it's 7 o'clock right now and I'm hoping that they'll continue that same pattern. They've done it two days in a row, hopefully. Uh, third time's a charm, and they'll mosey on in here in about 30 minutes. It is 7 p.m. right at the moment. Before I go too much further, I wanted to hit you guys with the verse of the day. It comes from he Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, and it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His love, His grace, His mercy, it's all the same. Who God is remains the same. We never have to wonder, and I'm thankful for for that most definitely. I'm grateful that I don't have to earn my way to heaven, but it is a gift from God. And that never changes either. So with that being said, let's settle down here, get tucked away. You guys buckle up and sit back tight. It's gonna be a good one. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I cannot tell you how um, happy that makes me and how excited that makes me because Monday and Tuesday of last week, I sat here 
that same group of pigs was coming in like clockwork at 7.30. Two days in a row they never showed, the wind was kind of squirrely on me, and I was getting frustrated. I watched them all week for the rest of the week, and I watched them for the over the weekend, and I get in here today, like I said earlier, today's Monday. I get up in here, 7.30 rolls by, 7.45 rolls by, no pigs, 8 o'clock rolls by, no pigs, 8.30 like coming up on 8.30, still no pigs, and then all of a sudden I hear one squeal. I'm like, oh, they're right there. And they came in from the perfect, I mean, absolute perfect direction. I could not have asked for those pigs to come in from a bit better direction. And uh, we, I think, just absolutely hammered that sow. If you guys noticed, um, those pigs were like super skittish for the feeder. I don't really know why. This particular setup that I have is pretty close to the highway and so anytime there's any horns or anything that go off you'd think with these pigs living by the highway all the time that they wouldn't really get all that spooked but as you saw um, they wouldn't even get close to the feeder and that truck went by it sounded like a train horn almost blowing through town and they all started getting skittish and they were fixing to be downwind of me and I really wanted to shoot that biggest sow because she's so so skittish and so spooky and hopefully those those piglets of hers don't grow up to be the same way but I think um, we have a heart shot hog not very far up in the brush I'm super stoked to go look for it. we're gonna give it a few minutes um, I'm gonna get everything packed up and we're gonna rock and roll down and out of this stand and go see if we can't find our pig before it gets too dark right, guys let's see what we got here <clears throat> All this junk's grown up a lot. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, she's hit real well, looks like. blood right there. I have no clue which way she went whenever she left out of here, so let's see. Hopefully she didn't make it all the way to the creek. That really stinks whenever they do that. I've been searching for about 15 minutes and this is the best blood that I have so far. And I don't see how it all I mean, like literally, there's there's the arrow that was laying somewhere in here. I just don't see how you can be bleeding that well in the very beginning and then not drop another drop of blood anywhere from what I can tell. I've gone that direction, that direction, that direction, that way. I've looked all over the place and I've yet to find anything other than what's right in front of me but I'm gonna keep searching see if I can't eventually find her I may have to just start scanning around and looking which is pretty unfortunate especially considering the fact that it looked like I absolutely just heart punched her but maybe it's just a testament to the broadhead we'll see maybe it maybe I'm just missing it and it's phenomenal I'm not the best blood tracker in the world, but I ain't that bad. <laughs> We're gonna continue to search. Starting to pick up more. Little by little. I'm probably 10 yards from the original spot. So I'm just gonna keep moving, hope that it gets better. Right now, it's just little drops. And when I say little drops, I mean like little drops. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing to shake a stick at, that's for sure. I was trying to see if I could find the spot that I saw right up here. Oh, there it is. Nah, when I say little drops, I mean like little tiny. So, I'm going to continue my track based off of that right there and hopes that she'll open up. This is 
the best that I've seen since coming in here. There's some pretty good stuff there and there and there. She's opening up the further I go. There's more there. More right there. Guess what in the world kind of bug is that? Can someone please tell me in the comments section down below? What kind of bug is this? I've never seen that before in my life. Hey, easy, easy, easy. Get off me. <laughs> that was a strange looking bug. Oh well. If you know it, please let me know. <laughs> She stopped for a second, hoping she's not too much further. Well, I uh, just made it back to the truck. I wish I was turning the camera on to show you guys a dead hog, but unfortunately, um, you can't win them all. Now, with that being said, um, I showed in this the previous clips you guys just saw the, um, about the best blood that I was able to find. Nothing crazy, nothing really all that good i'm afraid it was a combination of and mostly just my fault the human error um, whether or not the broadhead had any sort of failure um, i'll i don't know other than this right here because i did get a, a complete pass through now i was pretty disappointed in this uh right here and it is that this broadhead broke so as you can see right there there's a clean break pretty much I'd say halfway through um, that's disappointing uh, and it broke in more than one spot now with that being said I don't know whether or not that was the reason for not finding the hog like I said I felt like um, it was probably my fault and I just hit that that sow a little bit too low but then again um, I don't know. I felt really, really good about that shot, and I haven't looked at it on the computer yet. And the computer is going to tell me the whole story because I can see it in a full big screen, and I can really know what happened and see where that arrow uh, went. Um, I what blood I did find was dark red and looked like really good heart blood. Can't win them all, which is super unfortunate. And depending on what the video says will determine whether or not I test this broadhead again. I had really high hopes for it because I shot the three inch and then I um, have seen some people shoot the two inch version. And as a matter of fact, in like video before last, it was uh, the two inch version out of my buddy's crossbow. And that was one of the best blood trails I've ever seen. It was phenomenal. Um, one thing I will say is that I tracked about 100 125 yards in somewhere in that range and it's it's been almost two hours I mean I just got back to the truck and it took me about 10 minutes to get back to the truck so uh, I've been on the track for over an hour and a half for sure uh, maybe a little bit longer hour 45 minutes and couldn't come up with her but right there at the very end I heard some limbs breaking and then heard a pig or what I assume to be a pig running off uh, through the woods. So I'm um, pretty certain it was her. I mean, I was on the last spot of blood that I was able to find and I could smell her. Uh, and I just figured, you know, maybe it was a low heart shot and she kept on kept keeping on. I, <laughs> I really don't know. I know that a low heart shot can sometimes uh, have that effect where they can just kind of run a good little ways before they pile up. But once again, like I said, can't win them all. Um, I know I'm almost 100% certain that she was still alive, even though I gave her uh, at least a good 25, 30 minutes before I even started the track. And I know that I never bumped her except for that one time because I would have heard it or seen a pool of blood. And I'm confident in that. So I guess the best thing that I can do is just say, oh, well, and shake it off. It sucks. I hate losing animals, even a stinking old pig. Uh, that's why I stayed in the in the thick nasty brush with all the bugs mosquitoes and everything else all around me um, I really wanted to find that hog and see you know what happened and see uh, where the hit was and where the exit was and and all that stuff but um, 
Oh well. Again, you win some, you lose some. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in just a few days. My own sin, burdened by the heart of man. Down to the river. Down to the river.